what's going on youtube i know i haven't seen you in a while but it's Krom bringing you a new video on why it's a good time to start playing lost ark if you're already into mmos or maybe you're curious about starting to play mmos i feel like lost ark would be a great choice because it has a lot of variety in terms of things you can do and characters to play but the main part of it is getting to the end game right now we have three tiers and tier three is essentially where the quote unquote end game begins and tier three is where we have what I think is the most fun content in the game, which is Legion Raids. So if you know nothing about this game, tier three seems like it would take a while to get to. And in the early months of the game's release, it was. The grind was very real. But now Amazon Games and Smallgate have given us players, and especially now new players, so many ways to help our characters get there. Um, so for you who are curious about Lost Ark, this is why now is a perfect time to start playing. So let's go through um, the most recent big update, which was the Spell and Spades, which happened July 20th, I believe. Yeah, July 20th. So let's get to the main thing. So for new players, we have this new thing called, right here, the Makoko Challenge. So it's only for new players people who haven't played within the past 30 days or have made a new account so you get them what is called a makoko buff so players that have a new account or haven't played within the past 30 days or have no characters at item level 1370 or higher will receive the makoko buff users with the makoko buff will deal 20 percent more damage to monsters and take 40 percent less damage after 90 days pass or character and rusters reach item level 1370 you will no longer be considered a new adventure and the buff will end. So that means that as you're leveling, you'll be able to clear the content faster and level up faster without using any items and things like that. Not only that, but you also get mission challenges or challenge missions, sorry. So Makoko challenge missions. Players that have the Makoko buff active can complete special missions to earn honing and other progression materials, helping them reach item, le item level 1370. When the Makoko buff ends, the Makoko challenge missions will no longer be available and unclaimed rewards for completed missions will be sent to universal so storage. So not only do you clear the content quicker, but there are challenges that you can do to gain uh, progression materials. So in this game, you get to tier um, two and three and so on, is you increase your item level um, of your item and weapons. And to do that, you need honing materials. So these challenges will give you those homing materials to help you along the process. Not only that, but in the update two, they made getting to tier three a lot easier as well. So if you scroll down here, it says growth support effect. So this update also includes a new growth support effect, which will aid players in advancing their characters to item level 1370. So once you hit max level, which is, or not necessarily max level, but max level for the end game or tier one i guess it's level 50 but max level 60. So once you get level 50 you're essentially in tier one. you can start progressing in honing your armor and weapons in tier one so the growth support in tier one and two are, are the same essentially instead of one thing but they will i'll talk about them both right now so 100 percent 100% success rates when honing tier 1 gear from level 1 to 15. So from tier 1, level 1 to 15, tier 2, level 1 to 15, that'll essentially get you to the next tier once you hit to level 15. And it'll be 100% success rate the entire time. So back when the game released, it wasn't that wasn't the case the entire time. There'd be times where it'd be 70%, 80%, and there, even though it's still high, there is a chance to fail. But with this growth support, there is zero chance to fail. Um, double level ups when honing tier one gear level up one, three, five, seven, nine, and eleven. So that's great. So whenever you level up um, your gear, it's not only going to go up by one level; it's going to go up by two levels, which reduces the amount of materials you need to get to the next tier, which is great. Required honing XP reduced by 20% when honing tier 1 gear from level 1 to 15. And honing breakthrough cost reduced by 100% when honing tier 1 from 1 to 15. Perfect. So even less materials than it was before. 
because they reduce the amount of XP, reduce the amount, uh, the cost by 100% when honing from 1 to 15 in tier 1 and tier 2. The only difference in tier 1 and tier 2 is uh, the required honing XP is reduced by 15 in tier 2 as opposed to 20, but that's not really that big of a difference. It'll still get you there. And once you get to item level 1302, that's tier 3. So having the one, the 100% success rate, and the double level ups is huge. Because one, you're getting materials from these Makoko challenges. Two, you don't have to do all the things that we did in the beginning early of the game, grinding it out really hard to get materials and to possibly not upgrade your gear. They'll always be in, they will always upgrade whenever you try until tier three. Not only that, so they also added tier three growth support. So base success rate increased by 20% when honing tier three item level from 1302 um, gear from level one to 15. And then required honing XP reduced by 3% when honing tier 3 from 1302 to 115 as well. And honing breakthrough materials cost reduced by 50% when honing tier 3 items level 1302 gear from 1 to 15. And tier 3 honing cost decrease. So it cost it costed gold, which is a very valuable resource in this game. Very valuable, very valuable currency in this game to hone. And they decreased that by 30%. And the 50% gear XP is decreased, so you even need less XP. So even when you are at tier 3, it doesn't stop there. It helps you get to where the game wants you to get to is 1370, where the Makoko challenge missions stop. And when you stop getting that Makoko buff, and once you get to 1370, that's when things start to open up, end game starts to open up for you. It's not going to take you all the way to, to the very end of the end game, currently in North America. But it'll get your foot in the door and you'll be able to start Argos and things like that. So there's that for all the new players. There is another thing for new players. If you do feel like skipping um, leveling up still, you just have to, where did it go? You just have to spend some Royal Crystals, which is the in-game currency you buy with real money. So they added power passes, which is essentially a boost, like a like a level boost or an item level boost in this case. So they added a power pass that can be purchased on the character select UI by pressing the power pass button. There are five passes available, each corresponding to a major continent. So each of these continents are essentially a tier, or two of them are a tier until you get to tier three, which is Punica. Punica is, once you get to Punica, that's the start of tier three. <laughs> So the passes start with North Vern for 1100 Royal Crystals. Unlike the other passes, the North Vern pass can be acquired by a brand new player to start their adventure in North Vern at item level 302. The other four passes increase in price by 1100 Royal Crystals per continent. So 2200 for Rondel, 1300 for Yorn, 4400 for Fane, and 5500 for, for Punica. Like I said, Punica is where tier 3 starts. So if you want to skip all the way to tier 3, you buy 5,500 Royal Crystals with real money. And then that will allow you for one of your characters to be boosted all the way to tier 3, to the start of tier 3. Uh, pricing will only adjust based on the completion continents of character. Okay, so that essentially means, say you've progressed to a certain point. Say you've progressed to, um, let's say... To North Vern, which is the beginning of tier one. And you want to use a boost on that character that has completed North Vern. You can. You still have to buy it, but it's you only just have to buy the difference. So say you want to go from North Vern all the way to Punica. Um, you only have to spend 4,400 Royal Crystals for that. Uh, players will be able to purchase these power pass even if they're not completed yet. Perfect. So if you're a very new player and you don't feel like leveling at all, you can still buy these power passes or character boosts um, to boost your first character. These passes will be used immediately upon purchase as not eligible for refund. Okay. Um, as of right now, um, when I recorded this video, um, right now the power passes are disabled because I believe there was a bug 
um, involving them. So right now they are disabled. So hopefully by the time you see this or you see this down the road, they will be available and you'll be able to do that as well. Now let me just show you um, how the power pass will work. So I have my game open here and these are all my characters. They're all in tier three. But I do have one that I don't really play over here who's in tier two right now. Um, like I said, the power passes are disabled right now. But if they were available, what you do is you press this power pass button and there'd be all of the content, the power pass, power passes for each continent in here. And their respective prices down here for the character involved. So this character i believe is in early tier two so he'd be about here and if i want to get to punica um i would have to pay 2200 to get to punica and you use the power pass you buy the crystals and that's that actually let me show let's see how much the crystals are right now so here we are in the in-game shop and i'm on the royal crystals purchase screen so royal crystals are used to buy the power pass that I mentioned earlier. Not only that, but you can buy other things um, like skins, potions, cards, things like that. All this stuff you'll learn about as you're playing through the game. Um, but so to if you are a new player and you want to skip everything entirely all the way up to, to the start of tier three, it will cost you 5,500 Royal Crystals. So 5,500 Royal Crystals is about 66.99 Canadian because I'm from Canada. You can buy that and then you use it towards purchasing the power pass for your character. Um, backpelling back on using the power pass for a character, you have to make the character first and then apply the power pass to it. So that's going to conclude this little video on why you should play Lost Ark now and why it's the perfect time to start playing especially if you're a new player. Um, you still get a lot of this stuff if you are an old player that has just stopped. There's still a lot of like Hyper Express events and a lot of other events that the game has added to help players progress through the game to get to the end game because honestly, that's where the most fun is. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate everyone being here. Uh, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you did enjoy the content. It will help me make more content for Lost Ark because I do love this game and this game is really fun to me. Uh, drop a comment as well and follow me on my stream. It's all under the same name as this YouTube N underscore KR zero M on Twitch. Make sure you drop a follow there. Because, you know, I just play Lost Ark. You can see how the game is. If you like it or not, you can ask me questions about the game. And we just hang out and chill as a community. All right? So, guys, hope you have a good day. Talk to you all later. Peace.